You know what's going to happen? Things are going to keep getting worse and worse and worse. Here's the way it's going to be. Things are going to get worse and worse. People's going to keep getting raped and people are going to keep selling drugs and there's more kids going to commit suicide and the drug problem ain't over and the sexual revolution is not curbed and being slowed down. It's getting worse and worse and worse. People's going to keep blowing each other's heads off. Stars are going to get broken into one bright morning. There's going to be a great big sound like a thunderclap. And it's going to be like a sonic boom. And it's going to be the voice of the Lord. And to the well, it's just going to be a big old boom like that. And you, it's going to sound like this. Come up hither. And mother, we're going to go up to meet the Lord and go up there in the sky. And while we're up there, the Lord's going to put us on the ironing board. And while we're getting the wrinkles ironed out of our wedding garment at the judgment seat of Christ, all hell's going to break loose down here. There's going to be a man step out on the scene and he's going to say, peace, peace, peace. Here I am and I've come to solve the world's problem. And there's going to be a big war there. And that fellow's going to promise him a false peace. And that false peace is going to last for three and one half years. In the middle of that three and one half years, he gets a big head and goes into the temple and sits down and says, I'm God. And from now on, I'm running the show. And those Jews are going to say, oh, no, you ain't God because it ain't right for us to put marks on our hand. And he said, you're going to put your hand mark on that hand or on that forehead or you ain't going to buy nothing. Now, you hear me this morning? There's people sitting in here. There's some of you young men sitting here this morning. One of these days, you're going to let them put a mark on your hand or on your forehead to buy your groceries, to get your driver's license just as sure as you live because you're not saved and you ain't going up when we go. That's your future, buddy. You're going to worship the devil. After that goes on, boy, those Jews are going to head out all the country. And they're going to have their heads cut off. And they're going to go out there to that big old city. And God's going to surround them with them walls. And the Lord's going to drop manna out of the sky for three and a half years. And the water's going to turn to blood. Water right here in Pensacola. They're going to turn the spigot on. And boy, if God don't let the United States get blown off the map, wherever you're living, there'll be water coming in your bathtub like blood. And it will be blood. And the next thing you know, the sun will get so hot that it'll scorch people and people will be a dying like flies and one fourth of the population over a billion people will die in those plagues and great big hailstones big as that organ will come falling out of the sky and busting buildings and smashing cars and the wrath of God will be poured out on this earth and mother the next thing you know it'll get worse and worse and pestilences and famines and perils just like it did back in the book of Exodus on Egypt. And the next thing you know, at the end of that time, there's going to be a big sound. Those guys are going to be gathered together over there in the valley of Megiddo. And they're going to be ready to fight that big battle. And that Euphrates River has dried up. And they come down, that, down through there. And the next thing you know, there's going to be a sign open up in heaven. And a door come back. And a big old white horse come out of that sky. And a bunch of other people on white horses right behind it. That's me and you. And buddy, here we go, man. Here we go. Let's go. High old silver. That's what made one old preacher say, I'm going to leave here like Superman and come back like a long ranger. Amen. I'm telling you this morning, brother, we're coming back behind him. And he's going to come down there and somebody's going to say, whose side are you on? And he's going to say, I didn't come to take sides. I come to take over. And brother, they're going to move him back aside. The horse blood's going to run up to the horse's bridle for that long all those miles and the Lord's going to sit down on the throne. going to open and the king's coming back he's riding a white horse amen and the blood is going to be up to the vesture and upon his thigh king of kings and lord of lords i stood on mount carmel looking in the valley of Megiddo, where i'm again to be fought and i could see the blood up to the horse's bridle Hey man, Russia's moving now. China's moving now. They're moving to the last great battle. Hallelujah to God. But I'm a winner. I'm a winner. I'm on the winning side. I'm gonna come out of heaven 
on the white horse. Woo! I ain't gonna pull a shotgun, a pistol, or a switchblade. Cause the king, hey man, out of his mouth come a sharp two-edged sword. He'll cut all the God-haters. He'll cut somebody ought to say something. Somebody ought to get stirred up about the king. We ought to have some passion in preaching the gospel. Somebody ought to say something.